fun. My feet are soaked. Right. Holy got long legs, boy. Yeah, I guess. Good, very early morning from Circuit of the Americas here in Austin, Texas. And I'm here for something very special. Over the next couple days, I'll be shooting the Lamborghini SC63 prototype, the brand new prototype car that's gonna run in IMSA and the World Endurance Championship next year. We're here doing a private test. Well, it's not private, it's shared with Porsche Penske Motorsport who are also testing the Porsche 963. And there's some Lamborghini GT cars here, but it's gonna be an awesome couple of days filming cars on a quiet racetrack, no fans, no really, other photographers and just kind of have this entire FIA grade one circuit to myself except I don't really actually have it to myself Mr. Jamie Price is here as well good morning and Jamie I've never been here to Circuit of the Americas so I'm gonna lean on you a lot over the next couple days you can, you can lean on the me. best places or you can lean on me but yeah it's gonna be good man so we've got a shoot this morning first up with the drivers at 7 a.m. Uh, well, it's actually at 7.15, but you always tell drivers that you need them there 15 minutes earlier <laughs> so they show up on time. But yeah, so we, uh, what's the importance of doing like a shoot with the drivers and the car before the weekend starts? Well, you, there's no guarantee that the car is even going to survive the first day. So you Yeah, something you do could it, break or it could, God forbid, it could crash, have some yeah. damage. So you want to make sure the car is in pristine condition before we shoot. And even if they have spare aerodynamic parts, those spare parts aren't going to be they're not gonna be like wrapped necessarily. Mm -hmm. So the car, if they if they even have a small off and just bump the wall, they're gonna have to replace the front end or the rear. So then you have a totally different looking car and then it doesn't look like what they need it to look like as a new race car. So do it all before you get going on track. We kind of need the sun to come up first. <laughs> yes, but it's, so, com it's coming up fast. <laughs> days are very short uh, this time of year in Austin. So I think we've got sunset at like five o'clock and like sunrise at 7.30. So we need to get the shoot done. and then Which means it'll be good light all day though. Yeah, so we'll have good light with that winter light, which is nice, but yeah. Last thing of the year for you as well? This is it. Amazing. Done. Let's get after it. Let's do it. And looking right here at me. Yeah, that looks good. So we have to do the classic like uh, cool guy pose. You're gonna stand with your arms crossed and you're gonna look like serious, serious. Perfect, so you can actually look directly into the camera or just look straight ahead, it's perfectly okay. fine. Amazing, God, natural. Very good at standing, all right. And Amazing. I'll do the same thing. Helmet. Helmet on. Yeah, helmet on. Yeah. So it's gonna be like I'm gonna like pull out and go back in, but you're gonna have your helmet on. It's gonna be magic. It's gonna look okay. so sick. I know you do cool stuff. I man. try. Don't I worry. try, man. I try. You do. I'm tired, you man. Do, you do. <laughs> Too many races this year. I can imagine. I don't have much I see, left. I saw you everywhere. Yeah. How many did you do this year? This year? Yeah. I don't know, like 18. I did 33. How many? 33. In 10 countries. Alright, change to stand. It's even, it's even easier. Uh, I'll start. Two minutes. I'll start. I can do it. I'll start. Okay, you can do it. You can handle it. <laughs> Plain carbon helmet though. Back. You know, it's not great. Eh? It's a 10 grid, 10 place grid penalty. I know, right? Yeah. Well, I still. <laughs> and now you look really good. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> It was a pretty eventful photo shoot. It was um, it was rushed, but uh, we got everything we needed. I'm actually quite happy. Got the drivers, everybody was great. We got everything done, so got the shots I needed. Uh, one thing I should say, I did opt to shoot everything vertical with the gimbal, and the reason for that is just because uh, this is all being delivered vertical, so it's best to shoot it vertical for that exact reason. So rather than trying to crop later, you just shoot it in the exact format that it's going to be delivered in so you hope that now no one's going to call you in a few months and say hey do you have any uh, 16 by 9 stuff <laughs> but yeah just best to shoot it vertical so it does pain me to do this it hurts my soul as a filmmaker but get with the times man so it looks like their start is a little bit delayed uh they're supposed to go out at eight but they're just kind of doing some work on the car right now so i'm just taking the time to 
uh, get my gear set up, switch over to a long lens. The one nice thing about the test is that we're allowed to just drive our rental car around the uh, access roads, and then you can leave all of your equipment in the car, and anything you need, you can just switch over, which is kind of nice. So right now, I'm just going to grab the FX6. I've got a two times teleconverter on there with a 70 to 200, and I'm just going to pop my uh, polarizer on. Polarizers, like I always say, very important when you're filming cars because it helps take the glare off the car when it comes by and gets rid of that sheen, and it just looks really nice. So sat in the car for a bit. We're running about 40 minutes behind schedule in terms of when they had planned to originally come out on track. So I'm going to start here. The reason I start here is because this is beautifully backlit. Now, this isn't really like classic Coda per se, but I think it's going to look good. I think uh, with the, how backlit it is, where you can see where the track is shiny, it's going to look really nice. Uh, the polarizer helps to take some of that shine away and make it look a little bit softer and a little bit more pleasing to the eyes. So. We'll start here, we'll see how it goes. It's a brand new circuit for me. Uh, Jamie's just off doing some other stuff right now. I was hoping he could take me around, but he's got some other shooting he's doing in the garage right now. Once he's finished with that, um, hopefully we can go around together. He can show me around a little bit, but we'll start here and we'll see how it goes. So I've now upgraded my vest to this amazing Coda one, which is like a traffic vest, but it's nice and bright so people can see me. They just asked us to come to the office and grab a couple of these vests while we're out here. So now we are very visible. So yeah, so we're just up in turn one now. It's real nice out here, just getting a few shots. You do need a pretty long lens here at Coda, like most F1 spec circuits, like you're pretty far from the track where there's lots of paved runoff. But uh, it's nice so far, I'm enjoying my first time here. So hopefully we get some good shots. made my way around now just uh, to the other side of the S's here. Uh, fortunately, our car is not running on track right now. They're just doing some changes and whatnot in the uh, garage. So there's a couple GT cars out running around, but nothing super exciting at the moment, but we're just waiting around. This is, this is the uh, reality that is shooting testing. You're just gonna wait around for your cars to come out so you can shoot them. In this case, I have one car. So uh, it's just how it is. A lot of hurry up and wait, but it gives us some time to, you know, plan out what we're gonna do. But it's also some pressure where like, you gotta get good shots because they might not run a lot of laps because they, you know, if they encounter an issue or they wanna change something, they spend a lot more time sitting in the box. So hopefully uh, we'll get this next hour done, then we'll have a bit of a lunch break and then it'll be uh, more to do this afternoon. So we had lunch and now we're playing a fun game. It's called the waiting game. So it's not fun at all. It's terrible. Uh, but yeah, we're just waiting for the working on the car right now. Uh, we came down the box to get some shots, but not really much going on. At least not what I can use for my video content that I'm supposed to make. So I need like drivers suiting up, putting gloves on. It's going to be a little while. They're still putting the car back together right now after they did some work over lunch. So uh, I think I'm either going to go set up, do some more editing or we're going to go I mean, we could go trackside, but there's no point because like the car is sitting here. So might just go back to the office, but uh, I don't know, we might just stand here and be bros and hang out, chit chat, the huge. We don't actually do any work. You can see we're no longer uh, in the pit lane. We're now in the back of Jamie's Chrysler Pacifica rental car, because he's the dad of this adventure. Uh, the car is finally running again, so we're gonna head out to uh, the tower now, actually. I'm actually very excited to go up in the tower. It's like obviously the, you know, the signature part of this racetrack, and I've never been here before, so I definitely wanna go up in the tower. But don't worry, we got them to turn the elevator on, so we don't have to climb 13 stories worth of stairs, so. Looking forward to being up there. We'll see uh, what we get. This better be good, Jamie. It is awesome. Doesn't look like it, bud. Oh, just, it doesn't light up. 
Her out. She won't even walk on grates like on the sidewalk. Like if there's like a grating, she won't do it. But amazing to be up here in the tower in Coda. This is unreal. Something I've always wanted to see and experience. So it's cool to be up here. Some good shooting. Not as good for videos as it is for photos. There's some beautiful photography up here. But this is an amazing place to just come and hang out. If you ever get a chance to come here to Coda, I highly recommend that you come up in the tower. This is breathtaking. You can see so far, you can actually see the entire circuit from up here. It's awesome. Out of the tower, we're back trackside. Uh, there's only about 45 minutes left uh, in today's test. So we were actually here earlier today. Um, we're hoping that maybe the clouds will break a tiny bit and some sunlight will come through so we can get uh, some nice sun on the classic Coda shot, which is the flag and the tower in the background and the car cresting right over this hill, but you frame it in a way that you don't see the bridge there. So I'll show you, you probably see on screen some shots from earlier today. Um, it's a really beautiful shot. So now the Penske Porsche is back out there. That one's not ours. So hopefully uh, the SD63 will be back out here in a minute and uh, we can nail this shot and hopefully the light will come out. So yeah, hopefully. Back at the hotel after a long first day at the racetrack, I uh, just went and grabbed a quick dinner over uh, at the chicken place near our hotel, which is pretty awesome. I uh, went there last night and I just wanted something quick, so I went again. Jamie went out for dinner with some friends, so I'm gonna do a little bit more editing. I just got asked by Lamborghini to cut up a few uh, clips for uh, Iron Links to post, so I'm gonna do that real quick. And then honestly, I'm gonna head to bed nice and early because uh, I'm very tired. I'm still pretty jet lagged from my trip to Malaysia a couple weeks ago and I just haven't been sleeping that great. So we go to bed nice and early and we'll see everybody in the morning for day two. Good morning, everyone from the Hampton Inn breakfast lounge. We're grabbing a quick breakfast here because we're actually able to go to the breakfast today because we weren't up at the crack of dawn. So it starts at six. We had to leave prior to six yesterday. So it's having some honey nut Cheerios and we'll be off to the racetrack. Um, then we had time to stop for coffee again, Jamie. Potentially. We have head back to the track. It's basically going to be more of the same. We don't have a static shoot today, but hopefully we'll be ending the day with a rolling shoot. So stay tuned. Hi there. Can I get a grande flat white with oat milk? Grande flat white with oat milk? Yes, please. And I'll also, else yes, a grande cappuccino with two raw sugars on the side, please. We decided to stop at Starbucks. The hotel coffee was not cutting it. So let me know your opinion in the comments, but like I see a lot of like really lazy hot takes that are like maturing means that Starbucks isn't good or like Starbucks really isn't that good and we pay a lot for it. I like Starbucks. I think it's fine. Is it as good as a hipstery, you know, downtown coffee shop? Probably not. Is it anywhere near as good as any of the coffee shops I went to in Australia? Of course not. However, if you want decent espresso quickly in North America, it's fine. But let me know what you think in the comments. So here at Coda, it's actually uh, light raining. The track is soaking wet. It was pouring as we were driving in, but the rain's let up a bit. The dilemma we're having right now though is that the car will probably run in the rain. They do have rain tires. It's a brand new car, so you don't want to risk it. But do we go out now as they're getting the car ready to get ready for when it comes by trackside so we can get, it only runs a couple laps, we can at least get those laps with nice rain and spray. Or do we stay here to get Daniel Kvyat getting in the car because we need that shot as well. But if we do that, by the time we get trackside, if it only runs two or three laps, we might miss them. So it's kind of a bit of a dilemma. I, I think we're gonna go trackside and try to come back and get him getting out because we do need that shot. But I'd rather get, if I could only have one, I would take the shots of the car on track. So I think that's what we're gonna go do. All right, I'll set up here trackside. It came by once, but I think it's probably already gone back in the pits. It was very slow. Daniel Kvyat's driving right now, just very slowly in the rain to, you know, shake the car down and feel how it is. Uh, in terms of uh, protection for cameras in the rain, I've got uh, 
a kitchen garbage bag that's not quite big enough, but it's only supposed to rain for a little bit, so it should be fine. Then I just threw a clear poncho on. The great thing about putting a poncho on is you can put it over top of your trackside vest, and then that stays dry as well. When if you're wearing a jacket, your vest has to be your out, you know, your most, your outmost piece of clothing so they can still see you and identify you. So this way it stays dry, which is nice. So yeah, hopefully the car runs and it's worth getting this wet. So also it'd be nice to get some spray shots. Car's on track, it's doing laps. This is awesome. We just moved from the backstretch spot. We're just uh, out here uh, in the S's on driver's laps. So we'll give this a shot. I think this is gonna be nice in, in the rain here. I'm just stoked that the car is actually out here doing laps. Also, giant Texas flag. Cloud Jamie, this is gonna do a million views. <laughs> Back in the van, we've been a few spots trackside. The car is running, consistent laps, which is awesome. And we went up on the bridge, which is really cool. Something that I've seen people do at like tests and smaller events here. Obviously it's covered for Formula One and the bigger events like NASCAR, but cool to be able to go up there and get some shots of the car going like basically underneath you. Now we're just gonna head to a couple more spots on driver's right. So when we talk about you know what side of the track we're going to go to we'll usually refer to it as driver's left or driver's right rather than like oh i'm going to go to this side of the circuit or that side you say on the driver's left or on the driver's right it's just the easiest way to let someone know where you're going to be so jamie's out there being a hero and i'm sitting in the van because my car is not running I'm not gonna stand out there and get wet and shoot GT cars and the Penske prototypes because you know what? It's not what I'm here to do. So I'm gonna take the time to sit in the van and be warm and not get rained on. More power to you, Jimmy. So I headed back to the garage quick, got a few shots there. Now back in the office, just getting uh, some gear laid out and ready to go, making sure everything charged and organized for uh, this rolling shoot that we still not confirmed if we're gonna do it or not, but I just wanted to get all of the equipment ready, make sure we have GoPros, we wanna rig it all up to get all the behind the scenes as well as get the shots that we need. So do that and then hopefully, fingers crossed, we get to do this rolling shoot. This is the only thing I have to clean. That's fine. Thank you. Mark, I'm gonna let you run these. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, that one started yet or no? No. Shutter's correct. It's gonna be fine, Jamie. Everything's gonna be fine. We're having fun. Yeah, yeah. Are you doing a polarizer? Uh, I'm not because I have to stack them because I have to do ND. So hopefully it looks okay. Might look terrible. We'll find out. We got to do the rolling shoot, the car to car shoot, and it was amazing. Uh, my feet are absolutely soaked. There's a puddle of water in my shoe. These are waterproof shoes from Saucony, but um, they don't really uh, test them for doing a car to car with your feet hanging underneath a car with no mud flaps. So uh, feet are soaking wet, but I am on a high right now. I just get a high after these car to car shoots, Jamie. Like they're stressful, but like you get a nice high after you do them. So I think the shots look really good. 
Uh, Eduardo Martara drove the SC63 and he did an amazing job. He knew exactly what we wanted, the accelerating. He's done a bunch of these, so. It doesn't, doesn't help for Photo when he's doing that. It's great for me. It's great for you. <laughs> for photos, you're like, uh. but, but literally, like, we just, I, we didn't use an alien Hydra or anything crazy like that. Like, I literally just used the RS2 gimbal with my A7S3 on it. Uh, I didn't even use a polarizer. I have to stack the filters because of that, so I decided to go variable ND instead of a polarizer. So, it'll be a little bit of shine, but I think it's going to be okay. So, that was amazing. Uh, we'll have a little bit more running this afternoon. I'm just going to head and hang out in the box, though. And but aren't you glad your friend convinced you to come do that? I am glad. There, originally, there probably wasn't going to be enough room for all of us, but um, thankfully, the Iron Lynx photographers, one was willing to kneel behind us so all four of us could fit. Amazing to get four people in the back of this van. Chrysler Pacifica, everyone. We've been talking all weekend about how much we love this car. So, it's incredible. Rental car company, we didn't use this car for a car to car. So, um, but yeah, it was amazing. So, a lot of fun. I'm, I'm on a high right now, I feel really good. So let's get the rest of the day going though. So we've reached a really exciting part of the day where the light is not good because it's cloudy and the car is doing some short runs. It goes out for three or four laps and comes in. Soon they're gonna do a driver change though, which is nice. We're gonna switch over. So we'll have some guys at least putting helmets on and whatnot, something to film, maybe a pit stop. Uh, but kind of just hanging out. We have one of the Lambo GT cars coming in. Hopefully we'll get a driver change here. Lupti is going to go in the car, and then uh, he'll do his runs. Right again, but the light is just really not very inspiring. So, yeah, get after it. the day here at Coda. The car is back out running. We actually waited about an hour trackside for it to come out. And it's just finally dawned on me that I'm down to the last 15 minutes of filming race cars for 2023. It's all over after this. You know, have some time off and it's a little bittersweet actually. It's been an incredible year, you know, 33, 34 events. It's been wild, you know, and I've traveled to a lot of new places, seen a lot of new stuff, stuff I never thought I'd get to do and you know, it's it's amazing to get to do this for a living. It, it, this day's when it sucks, and it's a lot of hard work, and it's tiring. But, you know, beats a lot of jobs that people have, you know? And I love what I do, but I'm drained. It's time to have some time off. Just chill a little bit and get ready for next season. Daytona will be here before we know it. So we'll get a few last shots here, get our editing done, and then be vacation time. Well, everybody, we're all finished up, and Jamie's just doing the last little bit of editing, unpacking up. That's it for two days of testing with the new Lamborghini Hypercar. It's been a fun couple of days. By fun, I mean kind of boring, but still, still enjoyable to be out here trackside, have the whole track to ourselves and do our own thing with an amazing rolling shoot. Got some great content, made some cool stuff. So thanks everyone for joining me on this vlog. Uh, I know we've been doing recaps, but decided, hey, let's do the vlog again. And as I end off, as I always say, like, share, subscribe, all of that annoying YouTuber stuff. It goes a long way in helping me make more of these videos. So hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know in the comments and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.